Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop them online in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness with that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations and they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I know actually some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections, highly customizable to make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying those monthly subscription applications just like you can have a widget or a section on your Shopify store, which is not a very good idea for long-term project. Or you know what? I'll give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge, and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to make the header menu change color on scroll on your Shopify store. And this is a fulfilled request again. Or actually, I did already answer the, the guy or the girl, I'm not sure. I did answer them with, or her, <laughs> I did answer them, them both, yeah, I did answer them with a code, but he asked me a double question again, which is, oh no, he, does, he doesn't want to change the color on the drop down menu, only on the header main menu. I said, you know what, I will make the video for both. So in this video, I will show you how to change the, the color, well, I mean on scroll, once you scroll down, the header menu will change the color to a different color that you want, and also the second code will change the color for the header menu and the drop down menu as well. So no matter if you want to change only the main menu items or the drop down menu items as well, this video will help you well. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new teams, not nothing on it. I mean down team and each video I add small customizations, but the video 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now I think I'll reach that level halfway, just 20 videos, because now it's different chapter. I share complete sections, highly customizable. For example, check out this one, which is a reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources all in one place. Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one carousel and it's filterable if I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google and so on for Facebook and Amazon and Etsy. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification as you can see that will show a sales notification on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved. And it's highly customizable, you can customize the behavior for it, when it should show up and how long it should stay open and for who to show up to. It's very, very customizable and the best thing about it is no applications involved. But let me show you how to change the color for the header. Oh yeah, check out this one. This one will actually be triggered by the mouse cursor. Once it detects the mouse cursor is trying to close the page, just like I did, I did here, I was trying to show you this, then it will show up and remind you of how many carts you have in the, I mean a product, sorry, added to the car and yeah again by using your own custom code no applications involved and this will not work if you don't have products in the cart so no worries let me close this and this is what i'm talking about you see this heading so if i scroll down it doesn't change color it stays the same so in this video i will show you how to make the change color once you scroll down and the first thing you're going to do is access shopify dashboard let me access shopify dashboard after that click on online store then click on teams then click on the three dots left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. The next thing we're going to do is we need to find a specific file in here. Instead of looking at the folders and files, simply use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in base and after, or either actually it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css or custom.css. But mostly now they use base, so try base first. And here it is, click on it. And after that, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. Here we go. And in here, we need to create some space to paste in our code. To do that, simply click front of the last thing. In my case, it's closing, closing bracket. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? From the description box, of course, and completely free again. Scroll down description box, access my website, then download the file. It will be actually two files. A zip file will have two files, one for changing the color for the header menu only items, and the one will change the color for both the header menu items as well as the drop down menu as well. I mean only the item, the color, the text, not the drop down menu color. I think you, you know what I'm talking about. So the two files will be named actually with dropdown.css and the second one will be named without the dropdown.css. And I think you already know what that means. Let me assume you want to change the drop down menu as well. So open the with dash dropdown.css with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply 
pasted in here. And in here, I add, added some comments so you can see. So the first one, it says uh, default hex color, which is this one. This is a hex called color. Just Google it and it will show you uh, how to change it, show you the color and so on. And this one for the, uh, the color that will be changed to once you scroll down. And by default, it's red. So I'm gonna keep it like that just for demonstration. I'm gonna click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, it's saved it. We'll get back in here, reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page. Now, as, as you can see, same color. If I scroll down, and here it is. It changed color to red, which is by default, the default color we did set it as. But if I click on the drop down menu, every, every other item is red, as you can see. What if you don't want to change the drop down menu items? You only want to change the main ones. That's very easy. The first thing you're going to do is open the second file that says without drop down.css with any text editor, copy the whole code inside it, and get back to the base.css and let me remove the previous one because you have to replace the, or in case you didn't do the first step, simply paste in the code where we did paste in the first one, click on the save button. Now we'll get back in here. So let's just reload the page. Now go away again. So now as you can see, same color. If I scroll down, they change color. But if I click on the drop down menu, go away for the second time. If I click on the drop down menu, it didn't change color. This time only the main menu as you saw. And that's how you make the header menu change color on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.